I've been delivered from the curse of the law. And then she received it, see. Now you can't receive something you can't see and you can't understand. You receive things you understand from God's Word. I said amen. And so, and, and this doctor, she said she'd done the same thing to every patient and hardly ever lost a patient. Now, that's awesome to me. By doing what? Reading about Deuter, Deuter, in Deuteronomy where the curse of the, this will come on you, you know, the curse of the law, and go over to Galatians and talk and exalt Jesus where he became a curse for us, and then he t bore those, that curse. And she just put this into these people, and they'd, they'd get it. And they'd receive it. That's, I mean, now I'm not talking about people coming with a cold, felt bad. No, this is people that are about to die on their way out. So they got a hold of it. Now, let's look here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and we'll start at verse 4, and, and listen to this now. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, and, and catch that word, mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And verse 5, casting down imaginations <clears throat> and every high thing that exalt its, exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. And let's read this, this again. Well, let me read verse 4 again. We'll read them both again. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Now, that's where I guess everybody is there. Thoughts come to everyone. Thoughts from God. That's how God speaks to us. And a lot of times he speaks to us through a thought. We hear things. We think things. But, but the devil also and his, it's his, it is his most effective way to, to defeat. Do you realize that people, when they are defeated, are defeated in their minds? Do you realize that? Do you know they're, where else would they be defeated? Where else are they? It's one's thinking. So when pe people, defeated people, you, you ever seen anybody depressed? You listen to them talk? Oh, gosh. They'll depress you if you don't get away from them and say, hey, stop that stuff. Don't be talking that way. Well, uh, wh wh what caused them to be so depressed? They're what they're thinking. You know, some people, when, when you get so far down that road, you, you, you think there's no way out. You think there's nothing else. You think there is no hope, see? You think and this is the devil's primary way of defeating anybody, anyone, and especially the body of Christ. Now, and he's already got the world, because you, you remember, he said, whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them, that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. Well, what are they thinking? No thoughts of God there. Blindness. So he had fooled them with blindness. They're not able 
to receive the thoughts of God until the, the light starts coming from, from some preacher as, as it goes on to talk about there in, in Romans 10. And it starts bringing the light of God and the light, new thoughts. First of all, that God loves me. Well, amen, that God loves me and that he cares. And see, God has a way of making it real to you. Someone can say, oh, God loves you, Sister Deb. Yeah, but when you get the light on it, you know right down in here, whoo, God loves me. It's like him telling himself, you know. It's like God. I could tell you, God loves you. God loves you. But when God, it's just, it's like he just reaches down and whispers and says, I love you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Then something changes on the inside. Well, he starts speaking these thoughts to you. When you start hearing God's word, light starts coming. Blinders start going. Light starts coming. And that's why people give their heart to Jesus. That's why they give their heart to God. 